All right, we're at the Red Roof Inn in Madison Heights, Virginia. We're in room 218. Before I start, uh, I just want to point out these are nice RFID key card readers, but it's funny because you can just kind of see the Chineseium in them. I mean, they're perfectly fine. It's just, <laughs> I find it funny that they actually work better than the name brand key card readers because, I mean, the RFID really is RFID. It's not kind of throwing the card right out and waiting for it to work. It just works. Little point. It's also kind of funny that um, the key actually says, new technology is expensive. Please return the card upon checkout. Well, I'm sorry that running a hotel is not cheap. Hmm. This doesn't have in like 10 different languages, I guess. So yeah, um, this is definitely an older property. This actually used to be a Howard Johnson, uh, probably from the 1960s or 1970s. Um, with the current theme of it being an old Howard Johnson's, it's got these floor to ceiling doors, which look freaking awesome. This one is not in the best shape. As you can see, the door is kind of, I don't know, you can see it's kind of bending. It's not the door itself, it's the, the wood that goes around it and this, and this um, latch lock is broken. I'm not really sure what happened. As you can tell, there's this something kind of really ha bad happened to this door, but most of them don't appear to look like this. Um, but yeah, so there's definitely a, little bit, definitely a lot of holes in the door because, again, this is an older <laughs> property. You can see up there's the remnants of a door closer. Uh, and these doors don't like lock, close by themselves, so you have to kind of make sure that happens. Um, it's funny um, how they have the um, laws and stuff displayed. It's kind of on this laminated uh, paper, but I mean, it's fine. Okay, I mean, there's nothing There's nothing wrong, and I guess I forgot to mention that this does have, you know, the deadbolt. Works just fine. Do not disturb in maid service. Really kind of basic, but it works. So, yeah, this is a really neat hotel, and I'm excited to show it to you. Well, and here it is. Uh, yeah, that is a huge vaulted ceiling. This is a huge, an absolutely freaking huge room. I think this is actually one of the biggest hotels I've ever stayed in. I mean, it is that big. Sorry, I messed up the, the bed over there. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. But let's first start with the bathroom. Very bright light. Bathroom actually looks really nice. Very nice and modern in pretty much every way possible. The, realistically, the only thing that looks old and is not even looking old is this door. Again, you could tell it's original as is the frame. I mean, that is just a crazy frame. Both of them are just so weird looking. And you could tell a long time ago there was a mirror on the door, but other than that, it's not bad. It doesn't look like it closes right, but, or latch. Okay, there we go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, other than that, the, the, the um, bathroom is really nice and modern, surprisingly. Um, yeah, I mean, the water pressure, at least in the sink, is great. New, nice, modern toilet and other fixtures. And the bathtub even looks like it was completely replaced. That's rather unusual. I've noticed that most hotels, the bathtub is, seems to be the one thing that they don't replace. But yeah, this is definitely not old. The water pressure in the shower is a little disappointing. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, you can see how it's kind of spotty and spiky you know, and it's not really that great but it, I can I can live with it definitely some no-name contractor special shower but like it's still it's not bad so obviously over here there is an iron and ironing board in this kind of open closet type thing with a luggage rack I just have my laptop bag there where I should probably have my bag, um, but never mind. Um, over here is a desk. It's kind of narrow, especially when you have your um, ice ice bucket and bag that look really kind of dated too. Um, I think it's actually just the color. These these are really shiny. I, I feel like these are probably not too old. It's just kind of the color makes it look kind of dated. Um, but yeah, there's two outlets right there. Looks like there's oh, there's there's no outlets right there, but then there's two on the lamp as well as USB ports. 
uh, right here actually uh, is, I was wondering what this was, and it's quite obvious that it used to be Howard Johnson's. Uh, you can see there's the original gatehouse. This is no longer here. It wouldn't even surprise me if the whole thing was torn down. Um, since this door, I don't believe it's, there's a, there's a uh, side door in the, in the street view right here that is no longer there. Uh, and what's funny is this probably used to be the Howard Johnson's restaurant, which is now a Taco Bell. So definitely an older property. You can tell, especially in this footage and, or in this street view that it was not very well maintained. Um, but it is re actually remarkably nice to see somebody putting, uh, love and attention into a property this old because it's dated i mean that probably was a lot to work on but it is a i mean the old hotels are freaking awesome if they're maintained and this 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 hotel is definitely no exception um and you can even it's funny you can just see the remnants like this probably used to be some sort of uh, light same with over there i would love to see some old pictures of the probably this hotel which i'm sure exists somewhere maybe not but um obviously over here again all modern fixtures there's the new tv on this uh, mount thing that all red roofs seem to have, which is rather nice. Got some drawers that all slide really nice and well. And then obviously a microwave and a fridge. Really nice touch. This one does not have a freezer. The first room we were in did have a freezer, but I moved because the, the Wi-Fi over there was not working. Um very basic coffee amenities but again works just fine it's a single cup uh, maker so it's not too bad i like the the, the um, channel layout on this even has one of these little um clean remotes and a well-appointed samsung tv I, that's probably a 40 inch if i were to take a guess so not too bad. I like how it's mounted on the wall. I'm always a sucker for that. Kind of funny how they have a bunch of <laughs> wall jacks. I'm not really sure. Maybe maybe there's a desk here at some point. That was a telephone jack. I, I really don't. That would actually make sense. That's, that would actually make perfect sense because this space over here is relatively empty. Um, so here's the beds um, with the really freaking awesome. I just can't get enough of this vaulted ceiling. It just looks so cool with the beams. Uh, we have other families staying in, uh, in this hotel and they have front rooms and they're nowhere near this big. So <laughs> having these two beds makes the room massive. Um, I sat on this bed, but, um, relatively well appointed three pillows. Uh, if you're sleeping two to a bed, I would like to have four because I like sleeping with two pillows. That's just me though. So they have a top like quilt thing. Uh, a duvet cover. And what's kind of annoying that I noticed in the other room and they said this is how all their beds are and the front desk agent thought this was perfectly normal. So we have the sheet, right? And then we have the other sheet that is just a flat sheet. It is not a fitted sheet. I, who makes a bed like this? Am I the only one that thinks this is odd? No, of course not. But apparently to them it was. So I have a feeling these are all new. Uh, these have to be new mattresses. Yeah, these are definitely new mattresses. Um well it is not january february march july or august so uh they're not they're not uh, moving their beds around to make sure they don't get lumpy but at least they're not bad i mean they definitely seem new which is which is nice i can't imagine they would have ever used the original mattresses from the abvi because i'm sure that was all bed bug infested and nasty because i'm sure it looks like some sort of a, ooh, that kind of looks like, well, whatever that is, I don't intend on using this anyway, so we're just going to pull this back and pretend whatever that is, it does not touch me. But yeah, I'm sure that just was a permanent stain that they can't get out. So that's going to be pulled over down there. So over here is the nightstand, which is nice and wide, although it being, despite it being nice and wide, there's still quite a bit of space between, and these are queen beds too. This, again, I just can't get enough of how big of a room this is. So... There's two outlets right here and two USB ports. And there's two more outlets down here. One of them, one of which is being used for the, the clock. I, I never really like seeing it when they use the outlets designed for you for stuff that like that, that stays. I mean, because it just looks kind of, it, it just doesn't look like a good cable management, but I guess there's really not much you can do when you have both outlets. Why would you have both outlets taken? Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's, that takes one. And then this takes one. I forgot that 
that was separate. So, and then there's just a Bible in here that hopefully nobody... This looks brand new. I can't imagine this hotel was renovated that long ago. I honestly can't imagine. This, this just seems so new. Um, I guess the one more thing to show you, and this is kind of interesting. So, there used to be balconies here. All the rooms used to have balconies. You could see when it was in America's Best Valley Inn, it had balconies. Uh, the windows do open. And you can kind of step out onto your balcony if you really want. I mean, obviously you're not intended to do that, but obviously nothing, at the same time, nothing is stopping you from doing that since there's no screen on the window. Um, one more funny thing, if you could see it, there used to be a pool. I mean, there still is a pool, but there is no more. I don't know why it says road closed. I mean, you could tell where it said road that they scraped it off, but the, um, the pool's gone. The pool is completely gone. I mean, it's still there, of course, but um, it's, it's filled in with asphalt sort of material. Nice pool, though. I mean, it's again, it's huge. Um, there's even a kiddie pool at the end. What's interesting, though, it goes down to eight feet. What hotel pool is eight feet deep? I don't know. I have a feeling that... ABVI, um, because in, this, in in that street view it said that the pool is open, but I have a feeling that the pool eventually just, they stopped using, because it's in really bad shape, and then once whoever owns this, because I'm sure it changed owners, they came in, they, I mean, they probably filled it in, because it was probably not even cheap to fill it in, but they said we had to fill it in. I, I, it's kind of disappointing that they don't use that, since it's eight feet, but at the same time, AB, um, Red, Roof, Red Roof's inns aren't normally used to have, aren't usually known for having pools, so I kind of give them a pass for that. I just wish they would get rid of it because it is really unsightly. One more thing, nice modern climate control unit that is not dirty at all. Oh, I just pinched myself. But yeah, clean filters and everything. Even a constant fan option. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually rel relatively interested to know when this hotel was renovated because it's just so fresh. But yeah, so I guess that's just about it. I'm generally speaking, I'm pretty impressed. I really am. And the uh, the 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 lover for historical historic buildings and architecture in me uh, just absolutely is completely foaming over the uh, how original it is with these vaulted ceilings. I mean, it's just that awesome. So, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I guess yeah, that'll be it.